Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to another episode of 12 Days of Christmas. Today I'm washing my hair. As you can tell, it is a wash day. <clears throat> For those that don't know, 12 Days of Christmas is pretty much where I'm putting out 12 videos this month. Vlogmas kind of, sit down videos, things like that. And I'm giving away an item in each video. So if you want to win an item, you want to win something, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video to see what I'm giving away and how to win it. But until then, we are washing. Show you guys how I wash my hair and take care of it in this season of the cold. I need to get a towel, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, so I need to show the first part of the part where I had the braids in. Before that, I just oiled my scalp with olive oil and then I put olive oil on my ends and I braided it, well I detangled it and then I braided it and I let it sit for like 30 minutes and now I am about to wash it. And because this is not like a curly day, curly routine, it's my straight hair routine, I wash it twice. So the first wash I use this TGIN Moisture Rich sulfate shampoo and I'm going with my second wash and use a keratin smooth by tresemme shampoo and yeah so and then after and after our shampoo I condition with the keratin smooth by tresemme conditioner and then on the end I use this Adoa 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 beauty blue tansy reparative mask strengthens and repairs mask i will use and then let that sit for 30 minutes to an hour well, and i'll let that sit for like 15 to 30 minutes and then get in then so i'll show you guys what i do after the washing part oh and then i really like to use this i really like to use this felicia i'm pretty sure it's felicia leatherwood brush i use this brush so much better than the brush i don't care what nobody says Okay, and the topic of today is a juicy one. It is about following poor leaders and how that affects you. Yeah, following leaders that don't follow Christ. How does that affect you? We are going to get into it. Alright, my hair is washed and done. I am now about to blow dry my hair. Yeah, I'm about to blow dry my hair. I do blow dry. I like to put this silk cheese, silk infusion, just a little bit. Not a lot, because then you have a greasy flat, a greasy flat iron. So I just do like a dime, a dime amount. Focus this on the ends, and then I move up, and then I put like on the crown. And then I suction. Yep, then I suction. And I go on with the heat protectant. And then I comb that through. And then I braid. Really pulling at the root. 
and I'm just going to do that all over my head. Okay, so heat protectant applied, all that good stuff, all the braids in. So I'm just going to unravel this one and start blow drying. Well, actually, I want to hit the roots first. Yeah, I just do it on the lowest setting and just go, go at it. Now I'm just gonna do it on the rest of my head and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done blow drying my hair. As you can see, I am gonna go in and start straightening my hair. And to straighten my hair, I like to use this again, but a little bit less than the dime. So like a little like dot. Like a little dot is like what I go for. And then I just focus on the ends again. And anything left, I just put on the top in the back and then I'm just going to go in with the heat protectant disperse that and go in with the straightening and I kind of do the same thing where I just section in four I need one And this little guy is going to be my helper today. Okay, so now while I'm doing this, we can get into the topic of today. Oh, so, okay, well, while that's heating up. Okay, so while that's heating up, I'll just go ahead and like get into our topic of today, which I mentioned was about just our leadership, who we follow, how their decisions affect us. Um, things that we can do in the midst of those issues and things like that and yeah I'm very excited because I actually had like a an epiphany about this the other day as I was reading Isaiah 37 and I'll just go ahead and get into it yeah Isaiah 37 is pretty much talking about how King Hezekiah he's like the king of Israel Jerusalem um at that time the king of Assyria was talking blasphemy about our Lord. But the main point about the leadership and everything is ultimately Isaiah told Hezekiah that there's nothing to be worried about and the king is going to die. So it gets into later in that chapter how the, the night of, but some of the members of the army that are with the king of Assyria, they just the Lord sent an angel of the Lord in, into their camp and killed a lot of their army members. And that just made me start thinking like, that just made me start thinking like, there could have been people in the army that had no idea what the king of Assyria said or what he did. And they were just doing their job, you know? And, but because of what he did, because of what he said, because of what he wanted to do against Israel um they got got they got killed and it just made me think about how many what about like people that follow poor leadership follow leadership that does not chase God's heart that is selfish that that ultimately they ultimately they don't care about anything about God and ultimately they just don't have people's best interests at heart they don't have the fruit of the spirit and so just following leadership like that just really got me thinking like you follow leadership like that and that will affect you it may not you know lead you to get killed like that but every decision our leaders make affect us down the road we might not see immediately but we will see it down the line the decisions that make impact us and it's so important that we don't look over it and it's so important that we are prayerful about our leaders and prayerful for ourselves as well so that we have the discernment to know like okay maybe it's time to dip out maybe it's time to do whatever whatever the lord's prompting us to do but we need to pray for our leaders pray for our bosses pray for our managers pray for who we follow like you you follow an influencer pray for your pray for the your favorite influencers things like that because whatever they do is going to affect you 
period. You're gonna start talking like them. You're just gonna start doing things that they do. You're gonna start shopping for the things that they like. So you need to be prayerful about that. Prayerful who you follow, prayerful of those you follow, and prayerful and prayerful about yourself and where you need to be positioned and, and who you need to be positioned under. One side down, three more to go. Okay, so, so I have two scriptures that do a really good job of comparing and contrasting poor and proper leadership and really shows like how because of their decisions, because of who they follow and the decisions that they've made, how they impact the people that follow them. So the first scripture is John 19:15. It says, they cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pelai asked them, shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, we have no king but Caesar. So that was a great example of how, depending on who your leader, well, pretty much all leaders, how their choices impact the ones that follow them and how they can make decisions on your behalf, whether you disagree or you agree. Like even though it was bound to, like it had to happen in order for us to have the greatest gift, which was Jesus, it still definitely shows. It still definitely shows a moment of leadership failure and not even just that moment, but even moments leading up to that because we just constantly see how they have, they're constantly pushing back on what Jesus is saying to them um, instead of just, instead of putting their pride aside and truly trying to understand what he's saying and where he's coming from. So like that scripture is a great reminder that that leadership decisions, especially if it's influenced by external factors or whatever the popular opinion is at that time, can lead to really big consequences that affect everybody. Well, not even like the crowd themselves, but Pilate was, was swayed by the crowd and by the popularity of the crowd and what was pop and what was popular for the crowd. So that's good for like you guys or anyone watching this who is in a leadership role or who is called to lead people. Like it's so important for us to be firm in our beliefs and firm in what we know so that we're not easily swayed when something comes against what we what we know is true. And in this moment, Philip probably fell off about like doing this. But because there's such a big push about it, he went ahead and made the decision that he made. So let's like take a moment to just pray for our leadership whoever that may be to you personally and also on like a national scale also and just pray that if they are not christians that they draw near to god and, and that they come to walk with the holy spirit when it comes to decision making pray that the decisions they make align with god's ultimate will even if they don't know even if they have no idea like that they're making the decision that's ultimately to glorify God, pray that they come to make those decisions. Two more to go. This next scripture is Romans 8.28 and this shows the opposite of what the first scripture was talking about. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. And that should be the motto of every leader. Every leader should have that perspective. Because as we seek God, as we seek his kingdom, all things come together. Because 
because a true leader is grounded in faith. A true leader understands the challenges and the setbacks of what's happening, what's going on, and who to turn to when those things do come up. They're not leading, they're not leading on their own strength or leaning on their own understanding, they're leaning on God's and able to reach actual set out purpose for them because they're seeking the one that provides the purpose. So all this to say that when we are aligned with good leaders, aligned with leaders that also seek God's purpose, so we're seeking God's purpose in the meantime, as well as our leaders seeking God's purpose, there's no way. There's like all things come together well. All things come together very well, if the, especially if those two things are happening, especially that. So let's be prayerful for our leaders that they become that and prayerful that we become those leaders as well. Because even though we might not be leaders on like a grand scheme, we'll, st we'll still be leaders in some capacity, in some way. You never know who's looking at you. You never know who looks up to you. Let's act accordingly. As my wash day. This is all I do when I am uh, straightening my hair in the winter time. In the cold season, this is all I do. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, we'll be happy to answer. And here is the giveaway item popped up, popped up on the screen for today. Make sure that you are signed up to my newsletter in order to win. That is where I'm pulling my winners over these 12 days. And even if you're not interested in this item, you should still join the newsletter because I am dropping Christian encouragement in your inbox. So you don't want to miss out on that. But until next time, bye.